Hey tribe, guess what? It's my first natural hair tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to get these soft, bouncy curls on natural hair with just a flat iron. Be sure to subscribe for more natural hair tutorials. Woo! Yes, this is what I started with. This is my wash and go after about three days. But now I'm gonna show you how I blow out my natural hair. I know everyone is different, but this is how I do mine. I start with fresh, freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. I use Shea Moisture. If you wanna know more about my favorite natural hair care products, let me know. This is my mom on a budget uh, serum. It's comparable to Chi or BioSilk, but this is what I run through my hair when I do my blowouts. I run it from scalp to ends, in the front and in the back. You don't need a lot. My next step is very important, gain control. I have a big head and a lot of hair and the best thing for me is gaining control. So I part my hair into six separate sections, three on each side for a very special reason and I'll show you that in just a second. Now that I have my hair in, the, in my six sections, I'm going to braid these sections. This is not gonna be fancy. This is not for anything special. This is just to help my hair dry on its own and to keep it in control. I'm smoothing it out. I am braiding it down. This just helps gain control and helps get my hair nice and dry and smooth for my blowouts. I am being sure to pay attention to my ends and I am now braiding my last section. Yes, I know how terrible I look. This step is important because you can allow the blow dryer to work for you. I got this bonnet attachment at Sally Beauty Supply. I attached it to my handheld blow dryer and I sat down and did homework for an hour. So I was able to do two things at once. Let my hair dry and do some homework. Now that my hair is dry, I'm gonna take these braids out and I am going to blow dry them now. So as you can see, my hair is dry. I'm just gonna blow dry it straight. It may be a little bit damp, but for the most part, we are close to dry. And as you can see, now I'm just blow drying it straight. This reduces the time because I've braided it and allow the sit under dryer to work for me. So we are just blow drying this portion straight. Another tip to take notice, I am not smashing the dryer onto the brush on my hair. We want this to be done with as little as damage as possible. So I'm keeping space between my hair in the brush and the blow dryer. Same concept, just doing our best not to allow our hair to be um, too close to the handheld blow dryer. We are just getting it as straight as possible with this blow dryer. I'm adding a little bit more of that same serum to the bottom, to the ends of my hair. And this is my heat protectant. I love this beyond the zone, turn up the heat. It smells phenomenal, it's not heavy. Uh, I have not experienced damage with it. I do not spray it directly on my head. I spray it in the air and allow it to mist onto my hair. I am now separating my hair again into three sections for flat ironing it. In the back, I split it into two sections. For curls, we wanna have a long section, not as much wide as we do long. It's all about the flick of the wrist. You're going to flick your wrist to one side and you're going to hold the flat iron straight. The flick, the flip of your wrist 
flips your hair into a curl and you can hold it straight and pull it down. And this takes practice. But this allows you to use one heat, heated item on your hair. You don't need to straighten your hair and then go to a curler. You can curl your hair with your flat iron. This is our last piece. Now we are going to pull our curls out. If you do not have anywhere to go, you could just put your bonnet on and go to bed. But I wanted to show you what the curls look like when they are finger pulled. You do not need to comb it, you don't need to wrap it. Just let the curls kind of fall on their own. My hair is trained this way now, so they fall into place. But they are soft, they are bouncy, they are comfortable. I can lay on them. My husband can run his fingers through them. And that is it. If it's any questions you have, comment below and look out for more hair tutorials.